everyone, I'm Alice from Body and Brows. I'm going to do a short tutorial this morning about transition strokes. Uh, now, some of us might not know what transition um, means. And what transition, the meaning of transition is moving from one state or condition to another. So in terms of brows, it's the point at which our strokes move from going upwards to curving over and then coming down in the opposite direction. Uh, there are a number of different ways that you can do the transition and I'm going to show you a couple of them on paper. I always suggest with my students that they try and um, master these skills on paper before moving on to latex or skin. Paper can be a little bit more difficult to draw on, but what it does is it compounds our understanding of where those strokes are supposed to go so that when it's then easier for us on latex or on skin, that, um, that skill is transferred over. Uh, I'm going to draw in some front strokes to these brows, first of all. When I do my front strokes, I always like the bottom one to touch the bottom line. The first one to touch the bottom line, sorry. And then the second one doesn't touch the bottom line, but it does touch the top. And I have a few of these going along to build the front of the brow so that it's nice and fluffy. And they start to lean over. And this is the point at which we're going to start thinking about our transition. Uh, the most common one that I tend to do um, is what I call the leaning transition. So you'll see here that these strokes at the front are, are quite upright. They're quite straight. Um, and then as we go along, these are kind of ticking over a bit like a hand of a clock or the uh, the pleats on a fan going going around and going and, and going along. And the reason that we're doing this is what we don't want is we don't want our strokes coming up like this and then all of a sudden them to start going across because it's not a very natural flow. We want something that's very gentle, very sweeping. So I've built a couple of sets of what I call sisters. If you watch some of my other um, tutorials, I like to call these the sister strokes because they're, they're quite similar. Uh, so I've built my sister strokes and I'm just starting to lean across. Now, for me, um, the easiest way for me to do a transition is something that I like to call a bridge. So rather than having two, we're then going to move to three because we have a wider gap that we want to move across. Um, in the skin, I want to keep my strokes relatively short. Shorter strokes are more natural looking. Uh, they replicate how a natural hair looks better than a longer stroke. Um, and a shorter stroke, we are much more likely to be able to control our speed uh, and our depth and our pressure. So when we're um, covering a, a longer space with our flow, what I don't want to do is just to have one stroke that goes from here up to here I want to break it up so that I'm um, I'm creating a nice flow so I'm going to use three to bridge this gap and I'm going to go one again watching this lean here two and then my third one comes up but it doesn't quite touch the top now the reason that I do that is if I have it touch the top here, it can look a bit bubbly as it goes along. And I don't really want that look. Um, by creating a gap here, when we come in and start putting our downward strokes there, uh, we get a nice, we get a nice shape and it again just looks more natural. So we've got our three strokes here. I'm going to pop another stroke in here so that we don't have this void or this gap. And then my top strokes go along the line 
and down along the line and down so here we have built this kind of stepping stone or this bridge of transition up and over There is another way that you can do um, a transition. In fact, there's probably many, but the second um, one that I like to teach if my students um, can't seem to get their head around the first one for whatever reason, uh, it's always a good idea to have several different ways that you can achieve something is uh, like a V style transition. So again, I have my sister strokes in the front I've uh, built the front of the brow and then I'm starting, I want to start to think about leaning these strokes over um, so that I can create that glide from up to down. Um, and instead of doing the three, um, the three uh, sort of stepping stone strokes that we looked to bridge this gap here, we're going to do more of a V shape. So starting at so starting on the front of the brow here, we're going to build that stroke up. I'm then going to put one much flatter almost into the centre of the brow, which is starting to nod towards this middle part. And then I have another stroke which sprouts out of the middle of these two. And again, then up here, these strokes are going to come along that line so that we've built a nice, smooth transition from up to down. I hope you find that useful. Please register using the link on the page or subscribe to my YouTube channel if you would like to see more hints and tips. And if you have anything that you would particularly like to see, please let me know and I can film a video for you. That's me, Alice at Body and Brows.